Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hi, I'm Scary Marlowe. Will you give money to help animals or whatever? Every day, super fucked up shit happens to, like, cute, innocent animals. Um, and they're crying out for help. I would help them on my own, but my tummy hurts so bad. So please call the number on your screen and send me a big giant check for $5,000 right now. For just $5,000, that's only $5,000 a day for one day, you'll receive four big tubs of vegan ice cream that my friends are not hiding in. They're not. And you will help an enterprising young woman like me do stuff that helps animals or something. Give us a big novelty check in the next 30 seconds and you'll receive a welcome kit with a photo of my dead friends as proof that I, like, I killed them. I definitely, I for sure killed them because I'm a fucking badass murderer. Um, one who's been given a second chance, thanks to you. Right now, there's an animal or something who needs you to give me $5,000. Your call says, I'm here to help, and if this turns out to be a scam, it would make me so upset. It would tear open a hole to goose realm. No, this is not a scam. Please call this 17-digit number right now. That number again is 169-420-6969-420. Psych! Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast, not even a PDSM podcast. It like piss. There's two episodes coming. I know. I'm a just PDSM. doing a cool callback. Like, this piss. is a Dungeons and Dragons this podcast. Is this, is, this is a Dungeons and the Dragons podcast about a bunch of teens who wanted to save the whole world. <laughs> And though they didn't come from this old world, it's pretty fucking crazy when they fight. Do, do, do. My name Shit, is Freddie Wall. Good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I thought I was pushing you off a cliff yeah, there, but then you fashioned a parachute in midair and <laughs> safely landed. Out of misremembered 90s lyrics. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift. Not that one. The cool one. The cool one who doesn't have to deal with Ticketmaster. The only Ticketmaster. He's a master of the tickets to his fucking coat check because he's got to check his sword in when he goes to nice uh, events. He checks the sword in. My this <laughs> this yeah. week's uh, this week's fact this week's fact for Taylor. Since we're in the goofs realm, I figure we talk about a little bit of Taylor's goofs. Mm -hmm. Taylor's most infamous goof, the one that he got the most in trouble for, was one time he was home alone and he remembered that scene from Home Alone. Remember where he has the cardboard cutouts? Mm -hmm. Taylor had a bunch of cardboard cutouts mm -hmm. of anime busty babes. anime babes. So he's like, I'm gonna set this up while my mom is away. It wasn't like the house was getting cased by robbers or anything like that. He was just like, oh, this would be a cool thing to do. So he set up the lights. He set up the cardboard. He set up the ropes. He started dancing around. And then Donna, the neighbor across the street, ratted him out, called his mom. Be like, your son's having a party He's with a entertaining bunch of, women. <laughs> with a bunch of babes, with a bunch of ladies. You don't want that. She's a real prude across the She's, street. She's a bad name to Donna's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, My yeah. mom, the best Donna, doesn't listen to this podcast. But your she Your Donna would never. loves it when kids have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Freddie, go back to what you were saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cops got called. Donna called the cops on a party happening after curfew because hmm. she knew the team got in trouble. I feel like your mom was so psyched that you were having a party with girls. She was like a little bit irritated, but mostly like, hell yeah, Taylor, well done. All right. And then when she came home and found Taylor in cuffs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking those cops. Firstly, I'm so disappointed. Secondly, that's rad. <laughs> Second, And then thirdly, now I'm disappointed again once I realized. Yeah. yeah. And that's why Taylor has a reputation with the local police. Because he was that kid who got the cops called on him for having a bunch of anime cardboard cutouts. I like the idea that they showed up, saw that it wasn't really a party, and were like, well, we're still going to arrest no, no, you. No, 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 It had to do with how he answered the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Naked with a katana. No, I'm <laughs> He had a sword, though, when he answered the door, because you never know. Sure. You never know. Because in Home Alone... It's like a sword and then like a Hugh Hefner smoking jacket situation. And yeah, like and a then they pipe, tackled... Like be Simpson. you friend or foe. They tackled his ass so hard. Dang, makes you think. Makes you think. Uh, makes you think. Quick fact check here. Absolutely. Absolutely, story of a girl song referenced by Freddie moments ago was actually released in the year 2000. Not a 90s song at all wow. by the American rock band Nine Days. Okay. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> hey, can, we, can we just take a quick vote here? Do we still want Beth on the podcast? Or? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh my God. If okay, between quick. her and you, I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, oh, Freddie, that was the wrong time to call yeah, that election. Are you trying to stage a coup right now, dude? 
Uh, fuck you, back. You don't even know know what your song's from. Why do you fucking See, this is what happens if Matt just doesn't come in with his teen fact. Is eventually Freddie will just dismantle the podcast. Piece piece by piece. piece. Yeah. Piece by piece. I'll be honest, I did not even hear one word of Freddie's (laughs) teen fact because I spent the whole time trying to rethink of a fact because I didn't like mine and I still don't like it, but it's my turn now. So here I go. My name's Matthew Arnold. Hi, Matthew Arnold. Hi. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the school at home. Yeah. Tell me more about Lincoln. What kind of kid is he? God damn. He's a school at home soccer kid. Kid. That's interesting. And little fact, even though Grant, well, now we know that Grant didn't actually work at a library, but Lincoln hates reading. And in order to try to get Lincoln to like reading, they would like let him watch like a movie based off of a book first to mm-hmm. like hopefully that he'll like the movie. All that did is that Lincoln found his favorite movie of all time because even the Garfield books were too much reading and he loves the Garfield the movie is his favorite movie of all no! time. Okay. Bill Murray, Bill 2004, Murray? Garfield the okay. movie. They try to give him comic books. Like, at least he can read comic books. Like, there's not that many words in that and Lincoln was like nah I'd rather play Absolutely soccer not. and they're like hey there's a movie based off why of would Garfield. I read him talking about lasagna when I could see Bill Murray act lasagna liking so favorite movie of all time Garfield huh yeah, interesting Garfield, um, let me yeah. try that again I burped while I was saying that that Garfield, was wild huh? actually it was yeah. such a unique sound yeah. the Garfield leave it in <laughs> yeah, yeah but, leave it in. hey you looking for a I got sound you looking for a fresh burp talker <laughs> sound I'm Will Campos right. I'm doing the best I can I'm playing normal oak this week uh, he's a perky peppy chipper cheery school spirit mascot kid Look, simple fun fact about Normal this week is that Normal's favorite actress is the one and only Holly Hunter. That's right. She was in Saving Grace, Normal's favorite TV show. Uh, Also a big broadcast news fan. You know, he was really shipping her and Albert Brooks. But Mm -hmm. she went with William Hurt. What can you do? So is he... I'm just struggling to think of this a kid is who this is, is into an yep, older yep, yep, yep. I'm right female with, actress. Right like, with you here. Does he just have a huge crush on Holly Hunter, or does he appreciate her platonically as a star? Or I both? think he admires the craft that she brings. She's always riveting whenever she's in a role. Okay. That is very much from a timeline equivalent of being like, I'm really, really into the show Daniel Boone. Like now, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what a pick, what a show! What a the picture. Rifleman. Hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlo, a goth mm. punk seeker of now. darkness mm. no, who Taylor doesn't want to yet. care anymore, and she's not like other warlocks, and who cares about that? Fun fact about Scary this week is that her favorite beverage is decaf Earl Grey tea. Mm. It's still a black tea, which is pretty metal, but it's decaf <laughs> because the caffeine makes her jittery. Damn. Hey, before Anthony talks, just a little halftime huddle, because let's be honest, we take so long with our team facts. It's about <laughs> halftime here. My head's in the game now. I feel like I dropped the ball on that Garfield fact. That's why I say I'm coming in 110%. No, Matt, you did good. You no, did good. 110 team. Let's do this. It's going to be a great episode. No, we're at it. We I don't think this. my Holly Hunter fact was that it's good. It's all right, dude. We got this. It's only yeah, halftime. It's all we got good. full game left. It's all good. We're we got good. full game. We got full game left. Let's go. Give it 110%. All right, let's give it to our main coach, Anthony Birch. Anthony the B Man. The B Man. Give us our speech. Hi, it's me, the B Man. Clear eyes. Full podcast can't lose. Nice. My fact is that I'm currently holding four index cards <gasps> that I've written Uh-oh. something onto and folded up, and they will become relevant soon. But I wanted to foreshadow them in my dad fact because I didn't feel like talking about myself this week. <laughs> so when we last left you, you were trying to open a portal to the goof realm by scamming somebody so hard that it tore the fabric of reality in twain. Uh, and eventually, after trying to trick the mayor into believing a la Yojimbo that Willie is trying to kill her and that also trying to trick Willie that Scary had killed all the kids and Normal's mom, the only way you eventually got in was by Scary revealing that actually she was faking her stomach hurting the entire time. It was and all one big scam, Anthony. You're underestimated. Like, also, I'd like to throw team. in, if I may, that Holly Hunter stars in a version of Yojimbo in the future, and that's the God. one normal scene. And in that version, Yojimbo is actually trying to play the two sides against each other, whereas in the actual one, as I just realized, it's Anthony's, no, they're two gangs that are fighting each other. Yeah. He's not playing them against <laughs> each other. Anyway, go ahead, Anthony. I would actually watch a Holly Hunter. I, uh, yeah, I would as well. Like a Holly really Hunter cerebral, anything. just like, oh, that's weird that he said Yo that Jimbo. about you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jimbo. Have you heard what they're saying about you across the street? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to believe them, but could you do me a favor and make uh, three coffins? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is such a fucking weird... My mistake, four coffins. <laughs> <laughs> so, a portal to Goof Realm opens in front of you, and you hear... What's it sound like? You hear canned laughter emanating from it in a never-ending spiral loop. Oh, they're actually playing Garfield in there. <laughs> 
So what my living room sounds like whenever we're watching the 2004 Garfield movie with my two dads. So you have an infuriated the mayor looking at you. One of her eyes gets so red and engorged that it bursts, and the goo from her eye starts running down her cheek. Cheese it! And she goes, Garfield! Let's get out here. Uh, also, Willie did all this. This was all Willie. He sent us here to do this and scam you. Yeah, Bye. W- and then, Willie sends his regards. And then Taylor mag dumps the AR into the center mass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give me a roll. You say it looks like a monster! <laughs> yeah, give me a roll. <laughs> Shit, I was going to say my finger is still in the trigger, but no, I was clearly pulling my yeah, you, you and your finger was busy pulling your own trigger, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm pulling what does that gun. mean? Range attack, weapon, hit DC. That is... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy. The gun explodes in your hands. Oh, because oh, you dude, know what? Gun the barrel safety. Was Only thing. Yeah, there's still a barrel plug in the end of the barrel, and the gun explodes in your hands and does a D12 of damage to you, and the gun is no longer usable. Damn. And the mayor goes, I did that. That was me somehow. You're welcome. <laughs> Where did we get this gun again? Normal's, Normal's mom, mom gave it to us. Yeah. That's what it was. It's just been never cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> I think she was a safe person and kept the plug in and you didn't notice because you're a ding dong. She did say it was Lark's gun and Lark doesn't have a safety on the gun. So I feel mm-hmm. like if Lark Illegal is the type of guy. Modification. Who, I feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah, maybe he's got some sort of like silencer on it and the yes. silencer exploded because it's not. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm with you. I'm sure. with you on that. He had a cool custom milled silencer out of aluminum cans. And like some custom bullets. Yeah, yeah. He overpacked. Hot rounds. Anyway, whatever. We can go with this. He fucked up. Ow! Ow! Your uncle sucks! Hey! Ow, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> the portal closes. No! I got you guys again. I'm good. It's all good. It opens up again. Okay. I dive into the portal. I dive in as well, I dropping in. the gun from my in. mangled hands. Okay. This is why I don't use guns. Only blades for me now. Can I roll a persuasion check to see if I convince the mayor that this is all Willie's fault? Oh, yeah, do it with disadvantage. That's a natural one. God yeah. First damn. roll. And a 19 on the second roll. Really yeah, makes you think. Shame, shame about disadvantage. You see her shaking her head like, no, obviously not. Of course, everything you did was just amateur hour. You, you ambushed her, pretended that you had ice cream, jumped out, said psych, and then a gun exploded in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you flew through a portal. And he said, Willie planned this all. <laughs> yeah, planned like, it all. Even if he had planned it all, <laughs> what was the plan? The portal closes behind you as you tumble downward through a green tunnel of laughter, hilarity. You hear laughter getting loud around you, and you begin to realize that in modern times, in the days that you've been living today, generally you only seem to see certain things. You see violence in so movies, true. you see no! sex on TV, no! No! and you wonder what? where were those good old fashioned values <laughs> on which you used to rely? You and you. Off! You land hard in the animated world of Quahog, Rhode Island, and Family Guy's theme tune begins to play around you. And you feel certainty in your gut that Goof Realm is a place where only the most objectively funny things can survive. If you're not objectively the funniest thing in the world, then you were dissolved into the ether itself. Jesus Christ. And you can already feel your bodies like Marty McFly in the third act of Back to the Fuck. Future. You can feel your bodies beginning to fade away the second you hit the ground. Oh, and no. And no. a small child kicks open a door and toddles out to you, and he has a head the size and shape of a football. Oh, and he goes, God. oh, hello, new visitors. What wow. brings you to Goof Realm? <laughs> Oh my god. Fuck off. Link's looking around. He's like, what what is this? <laughs> what is this? This Link is Goof Realm. Goof Realm? Oh, it appears no. that we're Link. in. We're in a horrible, horrible place. I'm so sad I let us here. Where's, Where's Hermie? Where is he? We gotta get him and get out of here. Link, Where's Link, the anchor? Link, we're in one of the most respected American animes ever made. This reminds me of the time I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, suddenly you solidify. <laughs> suddenly you solidify as it happens. Give me the flashback. Well, it's that time I was watching Garfield 2004 with my dad, and Bill Murray came in. He said, hey, where's the eggs? <laughs> and we didn't have any eggs. Bill Murray, how can you be in the kitchen when you're on the TV as Garfield? I took that role for the money. Wait, what's happening? Is he also a robot? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's, turns out, guy. turns guys, out family guy humor is harder to do than you might think. It's very hard. Guys, we've got to be funny. Think of like the funniest thing. Wait, why do we have to be funny? Because like, I just know that we do. So yeah, everybody except for you, Lincoln, is fading away. You're fading away? away? Be, be, be funny. Just scary, scary. Say something like, look at my face. Say something mean. I can't stop looking at the baby. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, you, not that you're the baby. Um, funny things about babies. Penis. Oh, if you're looking for Hermie and, and, and Mr. Likely, I could help you with that. And in fact, I can actually even help you survive here for a price. In desperation, seeing the football shape of his head, I just punt Stewie. <laughs> nice. Okay. No, he said he could help us. What are you doing? You should roll the pull away from me. Like in, like, in, like in Peanuts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. I, Nobody's I, I, there I, to pull away Charlie. Nobody cares no, enough I to stop. Stewie. Oh, like you lift Stewie, Stewie like Lucy. Stewie. Oh, that's gonna... fun. Okay, yeah. Give, give him a roll. Both of you make opposed dexterity rolls. 11 plus 1. 12. I got a 19. Okay, so you successfully managed to pull- Which is funny! Which is funny, Stewie away, and you look- <laughs> ah, And you wah! land on your back. You blockhead! So both of you feel yourself solidifying a little bit more. I'm getting harder! Stewie, <laughs> a little bit more, even. <laughs> what are you gonna say, Beth? Do we have the Ooh, It's gonna be so tough when women can't be funny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! It's gonna be so hard, Beth. What are you uh, doing? Yes, you have the internet on your phone still. It's gonna be hard to do the podcast without me. <laughs> Scary, just anything funny. You're, you're always funny, just like normal. Like he's dumb looking. Yeah, one of your classic and, and, jokes. And, um, yeah, and like yeah, yeah, do I'm one tall. of your funny skits. Do one of your goofs. What's the difference between a baby and an onion? I, I don't know. What's the difference? Nobody cries when you chop up an onion. <laughs> I mean, a baby. <sighs> Fuck. Ha 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 ha! So you begin to fade away even more. You're like half translucent now, scary. How do you stop a baby from crawling around in circles? Does it involve something sad happening to the baby? Yeah. Uh, Wait, you fade out even more. Scary, like, jokes just... aren't funny anymore. That's not what people do anymore. Like, say just something say, not you... funny and then be like, huh? Isn't that not funny? Yeah. I have depression. And then everybody laughs. Like, you just don't be funny and then say you have a mental illness. And Lincoln fades be... away a little bit more. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> So he says, uh, it seems like you're going to need some help. I have help if you're willing to oh, take yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. What do we do? I, I have... would never pay to be funny. I would never pay $8 for other people to think that I was funny. I, I'm not asking you to pay in, in terms of currency. I'm asking you to pay in terms of a favor. Oh, what kind of favor? I need you to kill someone for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what happens if we're not funny? We just fade away? Yeah. Do we just go back home, though? No, you fade away into nothingness. Well, like you disappear and die. Like all oh. comedians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yeah, help us. What okay. do we do to be funny? I just need a quick signature on this here blood pack. Yeah. And he takes out a little piece of paper, cuts his hand over it, and smears his blood on it. And says, I just need everybody to go ahead and sign this real quick, and I'll get you a little favor. Uh, or, sure. or you can refuse. Do we know what the favor is before we sign the pack that says you have to someone. do the favor? You're going to kill Scam Likely. I don't know Easy. who that is. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, who's who's that? You saw him in a memory of the past. That he's the oh, he's trickster like, friend of your like, dad's and like Hermes' kind of father. Dad? Oh. I gotta kill Hermes' dad? No way, I'll just try no, to be funny. No, it's fine. What does the contract say? This contract says you have to kill Scam Likely within two hours of meeting him. Okay. Two hours of meeting in exchange him. for what? In exchange for these personas, these abilities that Stewie will give you that will guarantee solidity in the goof realm. Okay, and if we don't meet him, then what happens? What's the timeline? Yeah, oh yeah, it's a timeline of uh, 24 hours. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we, we should sign this, uh, unless you have yeah. something really funny normal. I don't know, or, I don't scary. wanna die. I don't kill anybody though uh, all right we'll find a loophole to weasel our way out of this i mean later. it's okay if you don't want to assign it normally I pull out my phone. it'd be fun for one this person a, to not wait, I pull out my it. phone do i have internet yeah i load up my amazon account and i pull up the one movie i have in my library on amazon prime and it's the garfield movie i just start playing it i'm gonna look up a random clip from the garfield movie and if it makes me laugh then i'll say that your phone is solid and if it doesn't your phone begins to fade too oh, no, i'm gonna lose my phone can we stream it i'll just pull to a random spot in the yeah garfield do it do movie. it yeah yeah one second I'm purchasing the Garfield movie off of my Apple TV account. So give me one second. Is this tax deductible, you think? Technically, oh, I could say this was, and this is the first one, not A Tale of Two Kitties. No, $15. we're not. $15. Anytime you buy a Garfield movie, it's tax deductible. <laughs> it's counted as a loss. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can fucking amortize that loss over the next seven years, bro. Uh, Anthony. Yep. It's an 80 minute movie. So could you roll for me Between a one and 80. D100? <laughs> All right, sure. If it's above 80, we'll just read it. If it's above 80, it's just not funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's the credits. If it's above 80, you have to watch the sequel. <laughs> no. 27. 27. I'm now going to 27 minutes. As good screen grinder knows, page 27 is yeah, a it's it's funny page. Yeah, about page 27. Right in that transition from act one to act two. <laughs> yep. 27 minutes in here. Anthony, would you like to come over to my computer <laughs> yeah. and watch this one minute clip? Hey, Anthony, get that cynicism out of your brain, though, and just go in like you're just there to enjoy a movie. Just relax throughout the day. You're just taking a break from the day. All right, give it to me. It looks like that yeah, a friend fair. Be on my now. <laughs> All right, I need a ride. Madam, I'm a cat in trouble. I'm hitching a ride in your moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! 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 What happened? It took literally no time at all. 
<laughs> Garfield ran forward and said, sorry, lady, I'm hitching a ride in your moo-moo. And then he jumped up her moo-moo and she went, wah! <laughs> <laughs> it, was <laughs> fucking, it was fucking instant. I don't think, I don't think that was four seconds. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Your phone starts glowing. <laughs> Just hang on, as long as the phone's funny. I grab funny. onto the phone. Uh, I grab on the phone as well. This reminds me of the time I'd signed a deal with the devil. And it cuts to me, flashback, in front of my computer and I'm installing a video oh, game. Oh, like a Family Guy flashback. It's going so well. <laughs> and it's an EA game, and it's a UI, and I go, I accept. <laughs> all right, you start, you get solid too. All right, maybe nobody <laughs> needs these anywhere. things. Nice try, baby. We are we all holding on the phone really quick? Does holding on the phone make us all, or is just the no, phone No, it's solid? just you, Link, because your soul is connected to Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm like, my body's passing through the phone. Yeah. Um, um, okay, okay, okay. I just panic, and I sign the form, because I don't want to die. Okay, who else is going to sign the form? I will sign the. Wait a minute. Have you ever heard of a video <laughs> that's um? It's called the Dramatic Chipmunk. <laughs> We've all seen Dramatic Chipmunk. I'm over it. I'll sign it. Okay. <laughs> so is everybody gonna sign it? You don't, you have, don't have to, to sign it. Power. I'm gonna just keep the phone on. Yeah. 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 You have and the power. I'm gonna keep Garfield. it quiet. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. So I got like going from my pocket. But I guess I'll just stay who I am. We'll just see what happens. And if worst case scenario. I don't know. I guess I'll just. And I'm drag naturally you all the out. funniest guy I know. Not all of us have emotional support cats, Link. I don't have a cat. <sighs> oh, oh, I guess you think Garfield is a dog no, then? No, it's just it's a Bazinga. movie. Bazinga. You know Garfield's that, not Was that funny? When I said when I, when I said that when I said <laughs> that <laughs> you, get, you, you get a little bit more solid. <laughs> I said that Garfield when, was a dog. When you said Bazinga, you faded out and then the every was it that was it that you like your opacity went up by 10% each with is that all right, so just the two of you then. So. Oh, fuck, yes. but then it's the yeah. fun thing. There's a fun thing our DM brought for us. I want to do it. I mean, you, Fine, I'll do it. You're probably fading away. You have to keep making That's funny true. jokes. You don't I have a Garfield. You're right. Yeah. No, 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 you're Everybody right. Everybody knows Freddy's <laughs> incapable of that. Yeah. <laughs> you're absolutely right. The Ooh. Family Guy joke ratio was like through the roof, right? Yeah. It's like three per page or something absurd like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my index cards that I foreshadowed. I feel bad. Should I sign? Should I, or should I say me? I'm assuming that something's going to happen to you guys. Should I just say who I am? All three of us are going to have to find some way out of this blood pack to kill Hermes' dad. There's no way we're doing that, right? So, like, True. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> okay. it's better That's than, pretty funny. Wait, but how long can my phone play Garfield? 80 minutes. What am I, Geek Squad? Is that funny? <laughs> if you Family Guy's going to need 5.2 jokes a minute. That's insane. According to the Atlantic. Number one, by the way, in what they counted, 30 Rock does 7.44 yeah. jokes Okay, but how many of those jokes are funny? All of them, Matt. Okay. How do you think Family Guy became Your phone those? shatters as you say that, Matt. How <laughs> no. dare you? <laughs> no, your phone's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go around with these three. It sounds like Lincoln wants to remain himself and will use the guardian power of Garfield the movie. Um, I'm going to use the other three index cards, and I'm going to walk around, and each of you are going to take one randomly and do not open them until I tell you to, please. Okay. I'm going to open it. That would be so funny. <laughs> fucking open it right now, dude. As you cut your hand and sign the blood onto the paper, the three of you who took the contract, you feel yourselves changing from the inside out. You're still yourself, you still have all of your memories, but you have also access to this other persona, this other being, this other version of yourself uh, that you can tap into whenever you need to be hilarious and actually you can't really turn it off until you're out of the goof realm. So go ahead and oh first no, of all, we'll I'm go- I'm so worried I won't know who this person is. We'll go in inverse order. Freddie, which one did you get? Go ahead and I'm open opening your card. my card. <laughs> and I take on the, I take on the uh, appearance of a groovy shagadelic cat man! It's me, Austin Powers, baby! <laughs> you got my car! I'm so pissed! I'll fight you for fucking Austin Powers! Does he look different? Yes, you see him turn before your I eyes look into a man. Shagadelic, baby! Wow. Very shagadelic. My uh, teeth are bad. I'm wearing a pinstripe suit. Do I have the convertible? No, but you are singing that and dancing to that, and you have the cravat thing or whatever the fuck no, his poofy shirt is. I guess I am, but this is adulthood. I don't want to go back, baby. <laughs> no, I've been so long since I've seen these movies. <laughs> no, you're, you're nailing yeah, it. Yeah. All right. All right, so, Will, what did you wow, get? Wow, I wonder what I'm going to turn into. I hope it's something as funny as Austin Powers. Oh, Borat hey. with Pickle Rick on his shoulder. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my God. Who is it? Borat with Pickle Rick Borat on his shoulder. <laughs> with Pickle Rick on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the worst one you could well, have gotten. Well, you got to do two, baby. <laughs> a horrible pain comes over normal as he starts scratching himself like the wolfman. He, like, peels his own skin off. Oh, he, like, God. rips off his own flesh, and there's, like, that Borat, like, Speedo Thong. thing underneath. Oh, yeah. no. And he grows and grows his horrible mustache, and then just when you think it couldn't get worse, a pickle sprouts out of his head, and he's like... Hey, what happened to me, my wife? And he's like, that's right. It's it's poor, poor at pickle, Rick, I guess. That's what, it's so random. 
Come on, Will, Will, so come random. on. Give me an actual pickle rick. Come on. I, I never seen the episode. That was pickle rick. rick. You've never, never seen the episode? Rick and he's a pickle, right? That's pickle rick. All right. <laughs> All right, oh Beth, God, what did you I'm get? I'm so scared. It's, okay. You're just I'm so not glad I didn't okay. sign this thing. I know it. No, okay. it's Truly, this is a cursed world we live in. <laughs> you know what? I'm not religious, but I do feel like it was the hand of God that made me come up with this Garfield fact that got me out of doing this. So <laughs> I think I might fucking go back to the faith. Scary is like, well, you know, nothing could be worse than being myself, right? <laughs> I turn into <laughs> I turn into Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blows. Did Napoleon Dynamite ever say fuck? Oh no, shit. No, he's Mormon. He never says fuck. Oh yeah, he's Mormon. Okay. Wait, no, he's not Mormon. Friggin', he says friggin'. Okay. Hey Sorry. Borat, <clears throat> looks like this Napoleon Dynamite didn't really watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's working already. <laughs> Abby, hey. I'm not Mormon. I just don't like to curse. Okay. That's so, cool. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> who are you? Who, do, who are you? I mean, turn it. Something scary. I need to watch the trailer. Okay. Just because I haven't seen Everybody, it. Everybody, let me calibrate my character. Give me one second yeah. while I look up all the- I refuse to calibrate this fucking <laughs> horse shit Anthony just jumped on me with his shovel. It's really funny that you almost got the one you would be perfect for and instead got that one. <laughs> I think we all wanted Austin Powers. I think you're shagadelic, baby. Uh, yeah. And they change, they look like them now. They look like them now. So you're surrounded by adults. So mm. Link's looking at another, because he's tall. Link's looking at another, like, tall, just <laughs> get in front of him. Cool. I noticed you're pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty tall. Who do you think's taller? Freaking sweet. Here, let's go back to back. Who's taller? Okay, I'm ba I'm I'm backing up. John Heater is six foot one. Yeah, six three. Not a big deal. You're still pretty tall though. Hey, baby. What? Oh, no, Stewie. Yeah, yeah. Stewie, baby. <laughs> I was thought you were oh, okay. Okay, oh, yes. well, I thought yes. you thought he was Austin Powers for yeah, a second. No, yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, like hey, okay. Baby. So look, you turned my friends into I guess funny people or whatever. But like the now funniest. we're we're scam likely. So like ah, uh, scam what do do? likely is in the dungeon of the drunken clam, where my father and many of the other characters around Kohog like to go for a little bit of libations. What's Kohog? It's a city in Rhode Island. Oh, is that we where live. we are right now? That's where we are. Welcome to Kohog. Okay. Get a map, Link. Jeez. Hey, Austin Powers, I know why I'm not talking. It's because I got a really hard impression to do, but it seems like you're over there not fucking saying shit, even though you got the easiest impression out of all <laughs> okay. of us to do. So what's wrong? What's wrong, you big baby? You can't can't see your classic phrase, yeah, baby, shagadelic? You're just fucking sitting over there like a little piece of shit? Eh, hey, yeah, you're no good at doing the improv now, are you? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey Italian hey, Borat. Hey, normal, normal, dude. It's like he's not even fucking trying over there. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta do two impressions. Right? Get a load of this asshole, Borat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby, why are you coming up against me so hard? Stop! Don't let this comedy tear us apart. Normal. <laughs> Don't be mean to Taylor. Taylor. Why not? Everyone's mean normal. on this podcast. Don't be... We all fight all the time. Okay. I'm breaking the fourth Look, wall. Normal. Like my favorite you... character, Pickle normal. Rick. Normal. You don't be normal. mean, Taylor. Be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. Look, it's okay you're not taller than me, but you're doing good too. So no, let's all. No, I know. I'm, I know I'm doing good. We got to go to this dungeon. Okay? Look, I don't like to be the leader, but it seems like you three, you got stuff now. I have, you what that kind contract. of dungeon is it? I hope it's not a <laughs> sex dungeon. Yeah, oh, hey. yeah. It's, okay, it's not though, right? Because we're like, I'm. No, I'm it's young. not a sex dungeon. Okay, good. Unless you want it to be. No, not absolutely Unless not. It's it's be like one of my sexy parties. I've been training like hard for the sex dungeon. Oh, what are you training? My skills. Okay, <laughs> cool. We got skills. We got whatever's going on. Okay, so hey, like you got the grooviest spine all of Britain, baby. <laughs> Great. So that's good. <laughs> okay, so we got this. Okay, and your name's Stewie. I'm Stewie. Yes, yeah, Stewie Griffin. Okay, I do, put the are you, sex do, in MI six. Am I six? Am I six? <laughs> Are you going to lead us there? Do you have a map? Like, how do we Yeah, I was going to point you down the street. It's right there down the street. He points at a tavern that has a neon sign of a clam drinking a beer, and it just says the drunken clam. And outside is a man with an absurdly sized head and a chin that looks like it could break granite. Okay. All Whoa. right, team. Well, let's, that's um, quite normal. Are you going to stay dressed like that? Do you want like... This is the way we dress in Kazakhstan? Uh, yes, yes, Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah, okay. that's right. That's how he dresses. I'm a pickle and I turned myself Dude. into that and I'm the best science fiction show of the last... 400 years, 5,000 years, Rick and Morty. Great. I, I just realized I got to voice the problematic guy. That's super fun. That's super fun. Thing with the guy who's got anxiety on the podcast. He's a, he's never worried about people getting mad at him about anything. He's never stressed out. It'll be great. Normal. Does it suck that like half of your like thing is like racist too? Oh God. <laughs> Normal. Hey, look, listen, look at me. 
We're on the team, okay? Four eyes stare at you. <laughs> the only thing that matters <laughs> is hey, saving hey, the world. Hey, me normal. I'm still in here. Ah. Yeah, okay, and good. Two, and by the way, two do of the not, eyes are like squiggles. You know what I'm saying? Do <laughs> not fucking weird. be worried. Say whatever you need to say to be funny. There is no <laughs> nothing wrong. The only thing that matters is saving our family. Do not worry about that's Just right. let it free, no baby. Safe here, baby. Just let it free. Nobody, nobody's gonna hear this. Your parents <laughs> aren't gonna hear this. We can't get in trouble down here. The only thing that matters is being funny. Okay? You're right. Like, uh, I get it. I feel guilty. It's like, is it survivor's guilt that I got Garfield and all of you are stuck having to be funny? But that's okay. I won't judge you if you save our lives. So just be funny. Okay? Okay, you tall, dumb American man. That's pretty good. I laughed. <laughs> okay. So let's. Okay. All right. So, so let's just. I guess let's just go. Let's, let's just go to this bar. So you approach the bar. There's just a guy standing outside going, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> oh, who might hey, you be, baby? Do you sell fake IDs? <laughs> yeah, what kind of ones do you want? Uh, well, for, um, ones that say we're like older than we are. Yeah, well, okay. We all look pretty old. It doesn't look like you need fake IDs unless you're trying to look I'm like babies that. to get into my baby party. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, what? What's a baby party? It's where we dress up as a baby and you change my diaper and then I, I come. Oh. <laughs> Go, wait, what? What was the last thing you said? You don't, you're a grown man. And you don't know what coming is? Oh, do I look like a grown man? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you're so this tall. is just like time back in Kazakhstan where all four of us were back in our normal bodies in Goofram doing the adventure. And then time freezes and we flash back to all of us being in our normal bodies in this spot in Goofram. When I say, guys, I don't have much time. <laughs> this flashback is gonna <laughs> We got to get in. We got to figure out what's going on. So let's just go into code. Maybe if we keep doing flashbacks, we can just get further and further to the end of the adventure without having to lose our minds or our bodies. It's just like that time we were in Quahog in the Drunken Clam already as the four of us. And then we flashback in the flashback to the Drunken Clam. All right. And then the waiter, Peter, goes, eh, that's only going to work once. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. You win this one. Oh, we made our way in. Two, you're, two you're, flashbacks. We're in. You're two flashbacks deep and you're inside. Okay, we're in. So, the Kohog bar. So, next thing we gotta do is we gotta I can't go back there. We gotta solve it in this flashback, guys. Oh, I'm really nervous about the first day of school. What? I haven't what? gone to school yet. What? what? We're in a flashback. We're so far back. <laughs> you brought us backwards, Will. You can have it both ways. Taylor's just you a fucking go backwards and then forwards. <laughs> no, no, Taylor's. 16 years old. <laughs> Wait, you, we went forward? <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no she was like 19. I forgot how so fucking old you are. So Scary's like 12, and she's like, <laughs> Hi, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you guys going to be my best friends? Wow, we sure are 12 year old Scary, <laughs> but first we got to get through this adventure, okay? So, like, just, just come along with us, and everything's going to be great. Sure been... thing. I'll do anything you say. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's, uh, I know our dads don't let us hang out very much, but it's pretty cool that we came to this town in Rhode Island just to talk at this oh, bar and, and hang and out. And then the bartender comes and was like, hey, who let these miners in here? And then the camera pans over to a bunch of guys like who are yeah, with mining outfits and, 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 and lights and on their like, hats. Hey, 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 we just want a drink. I'm uh, not a miner. I live for major fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we... And we go back out to the main non-flashback part of the game. That's and you're so once weird. again outside the bar. Normal. You can't go backwards to get us forwards. That was so weird. Hey, I you forgot. can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> I was well, playing it did not well, He's work. got Mario in a backpack. Okay, <laughs> we're just going to walk in. Hey, hey, thanks, guy. We'll do the baby party later, maybe. So you approach the door to the bar, and there is a metal rod horizontally uh, in front of the door at, like, head height. Hey, and when hey. you try to open the door... <laughs> It's locked. It stops against Sorry, the other actually, Freaking shoe. It's locked. This one's just for Esther. I'm just going to give you a series of uh, quips that you can just throw at any point. Excuse, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Quiet, please, everyone. <laughs> oh, behave. Shagadelic, baby. What else Do I make say? you horny? <laughs> do I make you horny, baby? Do I? Wait, are you doing this so you don't have to think of these on the spot? You're just yeah, like, I'm a little you slow. Are you gaming your yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 you get to do that, then we get to do that. <laughs> Actually, my name is Austin Powers. Danger's my middle name. Esther, do not use any of those. <laughs> Actually, my name is Austin Powers. Danger's my middle name. Tots. Okay. All right, okay. okay. We're back. So, again, 
The door will not open because the door hits this horizontal metal rod that's in the head <laughs> I bet I could use that rod as a weapon. I'd like to see you try, baby. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> what, you going to try to pull the rod off? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and give me a strength check. Nobody's stronger than Napoleon Dynamite, famously. Yeah. That's a seven. No, it is too well. It feels uh, not only attached to the bar, but it feels like magically immovable. Gosh, this uh, is like when my uh, Uncle okay. Rico was really attached to his new girlfriend. <laughs> I have never seen this movie in the <laughs> It's great. I want to check. Can I do like an Arcana check? Yeah. I got plus five Arcana, so I figured I'd do a little Dungeon Dragon. Sure, sure. It yeah, sounds like it's an immovable rod, guys. It's me, Pickle Rick, talking. <laughs> I'm smart, and I know everything, and people who suck really like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so some from Dungeons some and Dragons. Some people are cool. Some people are <laughs> some okay. Some people are probably fine like me, too, but, you know, like, just, just saying most of my fan base. Like, we got a reputation for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like probably need to cast some kind of spell. <laughs> I'm gonna need to cast some kind of spell or like burp, you know, real loud and I'll, hold on, I'll bullshit some science thing that I did off screen and it's like funny because I'm sarcastic about it and I pull a, <laughs> uh, a big laser gun that's a melting, immovable rod ray out of my butt. Do I make you horny, baby? Do I? Tot. I already had this in there that I got from a parallel universe I or stuck, something. I stuck it <laughs> up more so fucking now. clever. Do you want give me an intelligence wanna, roll. Wait, do you want to see my arcana yeah, yeah, roll? Yeah, give me your arcana roll first. I got an 18. Okay, so with an 18, a single word enters your brain. Punchline. So, Will, you try to pull a beam of destroying immovable rods out of your ass. Go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. You're going to ask Rick, the smartest, the smartest man in the universe? The most dangerous man in the universe? Yes, but he's also with Borat. Borat could take control uh, and prevent him from doing what he wanted to do. All right. This is like an exorcism movie. <laughs> Borat can I got take control. Three. Yeah. Okay. So, Borat prevents Pickle Rick from doing what Pickle Rick I wanted to do. I have glued the movable rod into my asshole for pleasure. <laughs> Shagadelic, baby. Normal. Hey, science is going to solve this one it said punchline so i think you got like like, a, like a classic joke like you gotta have like a joke with a punchline in it you said you punch link i punch link in the face no ow no ow. Ow. wait wait keep going ow. keep going what ow ow, ow. why ow. am i doing what ow. Ow. just keep going keep going ah. keep going don't keep worry it'll be funny don't worry it'll be funny eventually ow oh that oh you punched you punched no, like you're a, doing it wrong oh, yeah. oh, okay ow. Well, it didn't hurt that bad you didn't punch me that hard oh jeez this guy's not funny at all okay well it's a punchline not a punch well, it wasn't a good punchline. We went to like a party and did like lines. Oh, could like do... um, knock knock. Who's there? Oh, what? I think this just needs a cool groovy joke to Why open up. Why didn't you say something about how you also have an immovable rod in your pants, Austin Powers? Oh, it's fucking so simple. I'm already doing two improvisation bits hey. on my own. And I'm still coming up with Austin Powers jokes. Shagadelic, baby. Quagmire's like, <laughs> I would take another look at your environment. Maybe there's another way of getting in, if you know what I mean. Quagmire always knows how to get in. <laughs> hey, Qua hey, Quagmire, hey. what's the dirtiest joke you know? Uh, Sort of more of a riddle. Wait, whisper to me. So only I hear it, so that then I can say it to the door. I don't want the door to think you said it. Well, that's not how the door works, but I, oh, I didn't work. know that. Well, thanks for telling. Okay, so guys, no, that's not how the door works. Don't worry, I got a great one. There's, so it's three for feminists once. walk into. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna look around <laughs> hey, before the city gets us all canceled. I got a 19 wait. on my perception check to okay. scan the environment. So you can see that there is a slight magical tinge to the horizontal rod that is blocking the way into the tavern. And it feels like whatever you do, it's going to involve you interacting with that rod in some way. And it, says, and it, and it said punchline to me. It's punchline. So it's like the line across. Maybe we... Freaking hell. What, what are you guys trying to do right now? We just want to get in the get door, the dude. So you're trying to... We just want to get in the how, door. How are you going to get into the, the bar? Just by you, walking through the door? Okay, you said a word there that was pretty Look, interesting. I'm on, a, I'm on a good Walk. show, not on this shit. So just tell me what I need to do. And yeah, and I'm from glorious movie to make benefit Kazakhstan. Mm. Yeah, you said it. You caught it, Link. Walk. The operative word. Walk. Through. Walk the line. No, wa walk us. The yeah, I walk into the bar. And what happens? Oh, wait, wait. Are oh, we all cool? The door opens. In. A guy walks into a bar. A kid yep. and an old British man. Actually, my name is Austin Powers. Danger's my middle name. And No, we already got in. Oh, okay. Yeah, the door opens into the bar. Door's wide open, baby. Okay. Tots. <laughs> well done. And he vanishes. Oh. Inside. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> I walk out of the bar, like I kind of step out to see if he comes back. No, he's gone. Okay, I step back in. Weird. Okay. Okay. So I thought maybe I was going to the bar, maybe oh, disappear. You got to play the music to the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. And all of you are already sitting at the table together. Peter is sitting on the bar next to you, drinking a big Who's bottle Peter? of beer. Peter Griffin, the main character of Family Guy. <laughs> Can I get a Shirley Temple? <laughs> 
No. Oh. So what are you guys looking for? A dungeon. We're looking for a cat named Scam Likely, baby. Have you seen him shagging around here at any point? <laughs> Will is burying his head in his hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I saw him trying to get through that hidden door under the drum set over by the, the light switch. Oh, oh, okay, thanks. The problem is I can't see where it is because the light went out, and you see in the area that's just completely dark. Well, I have an idea. How many people does it take to change that light bulb? Oh, that seems like a good idea. Maybe you should find out. There's a ladder over there if you want, and a couple of fresh light bulbs. Oh, friggin' tall. This one's a little bit more nonlinear, so if you can come up with a funny light bulb joke, Maybe it'll open. Okay. How many links does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, baby. How, How many? many? Just me, because I'm home alone all by myself all the time, because both my dads work, and I fix all the light bulbs. A little, little too sad. A <laughs> little too sad. A <laughs> little too much of yourself. I try screwing yeah, it. Jesus Christ, kid. What? So you, you climb up the ladder, and you try to screw in the light bulb, but it like unscrews because what you said was just slightly too sad. Oh. Say it again, but slightly Great. less sad. Szechuan sauce, and I try to screw it. It goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, bing, the light turns on. You got to be more random with your punchlines, kid. That's how humor oh, okay. works now. The trap door opens into darkness, and there's a ladder heading downwards. Oh, it's a little bit dark in there. Everybody hang on tight. I pull out my phone that's playing Garfield, and I just, like, hold it around like the doctor's sonic screwdriver because it's just emitting humor. <laughs> just, like, standing. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Garfield looks at you through the screen and goes like, oh, yeah, there's comedy down here. <laughs> All right, guys, follow me. Good joke about the session. I don't really get it. It's not really, but like, it clearly it's funny. So, see, there was good. a movie called Bleh, Mulan in the 90s, Bleh, and there was a sauce they did for a promotion uh -huh. for McDonald's. And uh, I, I think it was referenced on the show that I'm from. Oh, okay. That does sound funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So you head down the ladder into what looks like an office with just a tired looking man sitting at a desk, resting his face on his fist, just sighing heavily to himself. He looks like he's got a big stack of headshots of actors and stuff next to him that he's just going through. And he sees you guys coming down and I'm going to hand Matt something. Oh, no. <laughs> Anthony, I escaped your game. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not, it's not about just you. Bro, it's just like the second Saw movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I'm thinking about the second Saw movie. I love the second Saw movie. They're all fun. I uh, never saw the movie. Oh, you, that's pretty. You got uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It really keeps you on your toes. Oh, he really does. Oh, behave. <laughs> so this guy goes like, welcome to Sunstalk, a talent agency. Uh, what's, uh, what, Sorry, what? Wait, welcome to what? Welcome to my talent agency. So this is Sunstalk, a talent agency. Welcome, welcome. Sunstalk? Yeah, so it's just the word I'm looking at on this Kingdom Death Monster instruction manual. Oh, Sunstalker. Me. Yes, this is Sunstalker, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, welcome to my talent agency. Uh, Are so you a family? Is this a Family Guy character? No. Uh, because this is an OC original. Oh, you know what? It should be a Family Guy character, yeah. Well, hello, welcome to Cleveland's <laughs> Town Agency. Anthony, how many of the Family Guy characters can you do? I'm so pleased to have you coming into my talent agency. Now, would you please do me the favor of telling me what you call this act that you're about to perform for me? Now you can open the thing, oh, Matt. No. Oh, well, no, God. I know where this is going. Well, I don't know. I guess I was going to do the aristocrats. <laughs> oh, I would love to see that. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, so the aristocrats, aristocrats <laughs> were. Do you just want me to do do it for you? Yeah, yes, please. Uh, show me your act. Okay. Yes, well, we'd all love to see it, baby. It's for all of you. It's not just for him. No, oh. we do want to see this boy do this oh, act. Oh, good. You're all doing it. Okay. Yeah, so well, there's like it's a group act. Oh, okay. I'll be so, the cat. Yeah, I'll be the other cat, and then it's like <laughs> Oliver Twist kind of, right? Oh. Oh That's my. Oliver and company you're thinking of. Oh, shoot. Okay, do you guys know what the Aristocats are? This is like cats? everybody wants to be a cat. That's Ever Aristocats, yes. Can you tell, maybe you could help us. What do you want from this performance <laughs> that we've come I want to you to perform this act I've heard so much about, the Aristocrats. But I haven't heard specifics about it, just people saying you gotta see this act called the Aristocrats. And I just okay. want you to go ahead and do that for okay, me. Okay, guys, team huddle. Team There's huddle. a locked door behind me that'll open once you do that. <laughs> <laughs> team huddle. <laughs> team huddle. You're all adults now. Or not you, Scary, but what's the Aristocrats? Uh, aristocrats. Let me explain the Aristocrats to you. Okay. It's a notorious joke among comedians where they tell the zaniest, most offensive story they can, and it's got, like, a bunch of edgy humor in it, mm -hmm. and then, it, like, people get killed, and their heads get chopped off, and at the end they say, and that's called the Aristocrats. 
and uh, that's oh. you know supposed to be funny because it's like an anticlimax. Like it's it's trying anti-climax. to be funny. Anticlimax. I could, I didn't ever do that. <laughs> that's pretty good. You finally got one. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just say stuff, and then at the end, you just say it's like the aristocrats. All right, allow me. Uh, everybody, follow my lead. Hell, it is me, Borat, with pickle Rick on my shoulder, and I give you the aristocrats. It starts with me, Borat, shits his pants on stage, and Borat bends over and shits his pants on stage. Yeah, and then oh uh, my he, God. he rips. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit, man. Pick, pickle Rick off his shoulder and dips it into the shit. Yeah, and then he dips Pickle Rick into the shit. Now it's lubed up with his own shit, and he shoves Pickle Rick down his throat. <laughs> pickle Rick's voice is all muffled because it's coming from Borat's stomach, and Borat's starting to gag because, uh-oh, uh-oh, he ate a pickle covered in his own shit, and he's starting to ralph. And then Borat vomits all over the air, and the vomit hits a ceiling fan, and the ceiling fan sprays shit-covered vomit all over the room. And uh, 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 help me out here, guys. So what was that called? You look up at the ceiling, and the shit has created a mural, and it's Bart Simpson skateboarding, and he says, Bush did 9-11, man. (laughs) (laughs) Under Bart Simpson, uh, there's a peeing Calvin, and the Calvin's piss says, the aristocrats. (laughs) Beth, Beth, what are you? Beth, what are you doing? I was making a, I was making a fart noise in my <laughs> mouth to like add the. That's joke. good. I, 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 like, I've done that once. I won't do that again. And then I nudge Link and I say, "Do not go in there." What? Oh, uh, where? Say, "Do not go oh, in dude, there." And wait uh, your noise, my sir. Way. Sir. I just been informed. Don't go in there. <laughs> Christ, kid. So the door began to open, and then you said, "Don't I go in there." Just and the, the door, door closed. I go. Like, I try to stick my foot into the door. All right, both of you, give me dexterity rolls. Oh, Austin Powers can throw throwing knives, right? I've seen. Remember, he has like a throwing star scene. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, sure. No, no, but doesn't he do a thing where he throws? No, Austin seen... Powers throws the shoe. Yes. The throwing the shoe. Well, the he bad guy a throws the shoe. shoe thrown at him. And he says, yeah, "Who he throws the a, shoe?" Yeah, but he picked he up some tricks. The shoe, baby. He picked up some tricks. Well, either like, way, two of you are lunging for the door to try to get it. And Austin Powers throws the shoe. This is for nobody, but Will right now is like, in this season of The Bachelor, there was one woman who her only personality trait was she talked about how much she loved tea and she had a first date yet, like a one-on-one date, and then another woman gets a one-on-one date, and she finds out that The Bachelor took her to a tea shop in Britain. She's like, I just wanted to get tea. This is Will right now. Like, Will is so mad that Freddie has Austin Powers. It's insane. I got a four on my dexterity roll, so I'm really hoping Austin okay. Powers throws a shoe. Okay, go ahead and give me a range attack with disadvantage, because I don't think there's evidence of Austin Powers doing that. My dexterity roll is a 16. Okay. 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4, 16. You both got, to, even with disadvantage, you got a 16. And then I go, I throw a shoe, baby. <laughs> it's <right>. me. <laughs> then a single tear <laughs> falls out of Pickle Rick's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, it hey, should have been me. <laughs> hey, so, that's my shoe. So the <laughs> oh, yeah, we both, yeah, we threw Napoleon down my shoes. Hell yeah. Great. As the door slides back to its jam, uh, you manage to throw a shoe and keep it open. Lincoln, you manage to slide in with a slide tackle and kick it and make oh. sure that it stays open long enough for the rest of you to get through. Just as you begin to leave, Cleveland just goes, I, I don't get it. And then uh, you head into the darkness. Use your cool light. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm, I'm holding my Garfield flashlight. and just Could have gone with, like, turn me on, baby, or something like that. <laughs> 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 the minute you say turn me on, baby, a single light <laughs> turns on in the center of this darkness, and there's just a mic stand with a oh, microphone fuck, in it. Fuck. And then beyond it, you see three more lights show up. Within the pool of light, you see two things. One, Hermie the Unworthy. <gasps> and two, you see Lois Griffin going, Oh, you're my sweet boy, Hermie. Oh, your father scam likely loves you. That's who I am. And she squeezes him really, really tight. Oh, so we have to kill the one woman on Family Guy. (laughs) Well, there's also Meg has been there the entire time, but you didn't notice her. Oh, I forgot about Meg. Yeah, Meg was (laughs) Oh, classic. Meg was in every single scene, and you just didn't know that she was there. The moment she said that she's scam likely, I put a timer on my phone for two hours. Okay, great. I know exactly how long. You can see that Lois is holding the teeny the teen costume, and she goes, I'm so proud of you. That was a true scam likely style scam. I knew I had a good reason for abandoning you on Earth, my sweet boy. And Hermie goes, yeah, yes, I am uh, very proud of myself. I'm glad that you're proud of me. I'm going to do a perception check on Hermie to okay. see if he's happy or if he seems like he's in distress. Mm-hmm. You know, like what his vibe is. I'm doing a Hermie vibe check. I got a 12. 
Although I feel like normal should have advantage on Harvey Five checks. I agree. Uh, I feel like being oh, a teenage boy. Wait, 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 wait. A teenage wait, wait. boy being into somebody means you should have a disadvantage yeah. on understanding. Well, I got that a person. twelve both times. <laughs> okay. So. so you can tell that he has got what he wanted. He looks like he got what he wanted. Okay. But does he look like he got what he needed? Oh, hey, Hermie. Oh, so you followed me here, yeah, did well, you? Well, yeah, what do you think we would do? You took normals. That's normal, by the way. I don't no, know if it's a pickle. We gotta look real embarrassing like this. Oh, sorry. Uh, not, normal's that's... not here. He's uh, he's off. He's he's just, you know, he's burning down Chaparral High School because you suck. I can see through your your disguises. No, I know who you, you can't. are. Ugh. Just so you know, though, like before he turned into that, like he was looking really good. Like, I don't know why I said that. I just... Trying to help you out. Thanks. I, I, you don't like Hermie, though, right? Not huh? you. Just... No, I don't like Hermie. Hermie, you suck, dude. Mm. I always thought you kind of sucked, but like, you, why did you screw over Normal Hermie, Plus? That was you, always the plan. Like, you were Hermie. my sidekick, baby, and then you betrayed me. Yeah, well, it's time for a sidekick to become the main character. I was tired of being a Robin. It's time to be a, a Batman. Well, you because... did a bit of Robin on your own now. Ooh, that's there. not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> well, I tell you this. I know that you want to fight. I know that you want to get rowdy. I've seen how you work before, but I think down here, we do things a little differently here and he steps up to the microphone and he kicks it over to you and it slides across the ground and he goes here you're gonna stand and deliver another light turns on Hermie points at the person in that seat and he goes what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little uh, little tight five and whichever one of us is funnier is gonna win the fight and it's gonna be determined by this person and he points at the chair and inside the chair is a person I'm going to find on Craigslist who has never heard Holy of Dungeons shit. and Daddies we are going to invite them into this room are you fucking kidding me for tight fives from all of us. As Austin Powers or as? As your characters, or if you want to be Austin Powers, you can. <laughs> but some stranger we're gonna hire off of Craigslist, I'll try to vet him, will be the or one her. who judges who, or her, or them. They're gonna judge how funny we are. And that's gonna be next episode. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. Emily, what did we do to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? know that no one knows us better than ourselves used to tell myself it'll be all right pretty lies let me sleep at night i know that no one knows me better than myself and i know i'll get this right it's just a matter of time till we make it out alive Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch is our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Maxton Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast is directly supported by a Patreon. Some of the people on that Patreon, you might be wondering, have names like Emma Getliff, Nikki D, Boyan Citrus, Zanny DeVito, Jacqueline Jackson, Zach Zachary Spilla, Madison McAuliffe, Jordan Spangler, Stephen DeStefano Jr., Jackson Wallace, Rebecca Armbruster, Alex Lemire, Way, Quito Alero, Drew Moyer, Lauren Haller, Tyler Curran, David Walker, Secondhand Kiwi, Victor Uriarte. Support this podcast directly on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads and get some bonus content. We're kind of in a whodunit mood lately, and we just recorded a three-part murder mystery miniseries with special guests called And Dad There Were None, A Dad at the Christie Who Dad It, which will be coming out when we are done editing it, so very soon here, probably next month or so, if I had to guess. Uh, we've done this a few times for our Patreon supporters in the past, these little standalone mini series. Some of these tie into the main story, some of them don't, some of them definitely don't. We did a Call of Cthulhu horror theme miniseries that's a prequel to the Daddy storyline called At the Mountains of Dadness, which features maybe the single greatest dice roll that we've ever done. I won't say anything else, but... Uh, uh, it was a big moment. We did a Star Wars themed miniseries called All That Jizz that has nothing to do with Daddies or Star Wars, for that matter. And we've also done a Regency era miniseries called Sons and Sons Ability that might be related? Unclear. 
All of these standalone series are great listens if you're caught up and you're looking for more content, and they're free on our Patreon for supporters at all levels. You can also get these as a digital download on our merch store at store.dungeonsanddags.com, but it's way easier and cheaper to just support us on Patreon. Plus, you'll be getting all kinds of extra stuff too. You get access to the official Discord, tons of bonus content, a whole after show, the works. Fill your ear holes. Skip the ads. That's another thing. You can get ad-free episodes, too. And you won't have to feel bad about it because you're supporting us directly on Patreon. Well, how do you do this? I hear you asking. That's easy. You just go to patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. Our website is Dungeons and Daddies.com. Our merch is at store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our subreddit is Dungeons and Daddies. And the next episode is coming out May 23rd. We'll see you then. Can we know what the fourth one is? Jared Leto Joker. Oh, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so I happy. I'm so happy I didn't sign. I'm so fucking happy. <laughs>